Hey YouTube, back with another video. Some of you may have seen these books from my old account as the Game Changer 85. I had some priorities going on, but I'm back now as the Comic Detective 1. So without further ado, uh, let's start off with Strange Tales number 165. Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Doctor Strange. Behold the Savage Sky. Cover and art was drawn by Jim Stranko. And uh, I'd say this would be a very fine condition. Again, that's number 165. And next, I have a Tower of Shadows, number one. And this cover was drawn by John Ramita Sr. back in 1969. The inside actually has three short stories. Uh, the first story was drawn by Jim Starenko. second story was drawn by, I believe, yeah, John Busima. And the last one was by John Ramita Sr. This is in uh, very fine condition. Tire of Shadows, number one. And moving on, I have a copy of the Uncanny X-Men, number 66. Really cool cover. The old X-Men on here. Hulk lashes out. I would say this book would be maybe about a, a fine plus. There's actually um, a bit of creasing uh, the top left corner there. Kind of make it out. Other than that, it's a very nice copy. It's uh, X-Men number 66. And next up, I have a little run of Luke Cage, Hero for Hire. And starting out with number three. I believe this would be the first appearance of Mace. Which would be that guy right there. It's probably about a very fine minus. Nice book. And next is number four. really like these picture frame covers. The Phantom of 42nd Street. I'd say it'd be a uh, very fine. Okay. And next we have number 10. It's filling in my Luke Cage here for hires pretty nicely here. Call him Mr. Death. And that's number 10. And I picked up uh, number 12. Chemistro. That dude. Again, very cool cover. Luke Cage, here for hire, number 12. And next is Tales to Astonish, number 75. It's featuring the Submariner and the Incredible Hulk. Very nice Hulk cover, Submariner at the bottom. This one I'd say would be in a uh, probably fine plus condition. And uh, I also have Tales to Astonish, number 67. 
It's a very, very nice book. Uh, this is featuring the Giant Man and the Incredible Hulk. So this is going back where strides the behemoth. The really interesting thing about this book too is the uh, Incredible Hulk was actually drawn by Steve Ditko back in 1965. I really like this run on here. Um, I'll be definitely picking up more of the Tales to Astonish with more Steve Ditko art. And just an awesome comic. Really good read. That's Tales to Astonish number 67. And next up, here is the Batman number 423. Todd McFarlane cover. This book was only two dollars, so I mean for that price, hey, I'll take it. And that's Batman number 423. Sorry for the glare. And I also have Detective Comics number 626. Very, very nice Copper Age cover. I like this one a lot. Again, this is a, I'd say this would be like a near mint. Batman uh, number 423 was a near mint copy as well. Again, I only paid $2 for this. It's uh, Detective Comics number 626. And next up, I have copy of The Incredible Hulk number 141. And for all you Incredible Hulk fans out there, you know this is a key issue. The significance of this issue is that this is the first appearance of Doc Samson. I mean, just an amazing book. I mean, I thought the story was really good. The artwork, Herb Trimpey, really good as well. This would be a very fine plus condition. Nothing wrong with this copy at all. I mean, there's really sharp corners, no creasing or chips, none of that. Just very uh, solid copy. Off-white pages. So again, this is uh, number 141. And moving on, I have uh, some Wolverine, starting with number 3. Very nice cover. number 17 I like the red on here Wolverine in the classic brown and yellow costume cover just jumps out at you it's number 17 and I have the Defenders number 27 used to almost had the full run of the Defenders at one point, but I uh, actually regret selling them, so hopefully you know, we'll get, the, get them back one day. Three Worlds to Conquer, again this is the Defenders number 27, it's a cool cover. Okay. And the last book for this video is Amazing Adventures number 11. Featuring the Beast. The significance of this issue is that it's the first appearance of the furry beast. He started off gray, and this was a really good read as well. So this would be about a very fine minus condition, but a very, very nice copy. Nonetheless, again, this is. Uh, Amazing Adventures, number 11. Well, that's it for today. I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Alright, bye for now.